me welcome you all and let me remind you to rename yourself with your club name and let us also let us also uh, know that the session will be recorded and if you'd like to switch off your videos you can do that okay let's quickly dear it moderator may i request you to launch the poll in the beginning i would like to take a poll wherein i would like to know if you are taking the vppr role for the first time or have you all done it before so let me ask you all can we quickly just enter the poll please Okay, we have three more to go. Quite quickly. Okay, so let's end the poll. So we have 74% who are doing it for the first time and 26 have done this before. So I'm really glad that we have a good blend of people who are new PBPRs and the old ones. And I'd like to let you know that let's keep the section, session interactive. I would like you to pitch in and tell me your pointers, your experiences, or your ideas whenever you could. So it's not a Q&A session at the end and we have a full-on training in the beginning. Whenever you feel that you have a point, you have an idea or a doubt, you can please ask, pitch in, unmute and ask, and we can solve it together. Okay, so let us dive in deep. Let me share my screen. I hope you can see my screen now. Can you please let me know with the thumbs up? Can you see my screen? Okay. Yes. So today's agenda will be that we will be discussing about the VPPR role. What is your role and what are you expected to perform at the end of this year? And your responsibilities as VPPR pick up of different different responsibilities that you will have to carry out throughout the year and the resources that you will be provided with you will be equipped with to perform this role now let us just have an icebreaker i want you to just gaze at this house say i'm very tired of this busy life city life you know rather hectic job pollution the traffic and i decide that i would go to a countryside I'd go to this ruddy barn, a hut there, and I would like to stay there, All right? I like to stay there. I'm just tired of my own life, so I just like to go and to live there. I want to know from you, but how would you sell it to me? What are the good things that you find in that picture that you'd like to tell me? You can use the chat and put in your ass. What are the good things that you find in that place? How would you persuade me to stay there? Okay, wooden walls, that's a good thing. Wood, blue sky, oh wow, that's lovely. Centrally placed, okay, that's kind of interesting. It's calming, it's nature, open space, peace and quiet. Oh, wow, lovely. Got a bunch of answers there, I'm convinced. So I'm gonna stay there. Peace and tranquility, privacy. Oh, really, we do have peace there. So it's isolated, it's, it's a fine solitude over there. Splendid. Now, second part of the question is, now I decide to live there, I pack my bags and come here. But now, I'm a city girl. What modifications do you think should be made to that place? to make it more livable, so that I wouldn't have any problems taking place. 
So what is it that we want to add to that frame to make it more you know, appealing to me? Quality, spacing, color it. Okay, yeah, I'd like to color it, but the white wash it, okay. Access, telephone, security, of course. We can't live without having access, right? Doors, perfect. <laughs> you must be adaptable to the water. Okay, trusting. Flowers, oh wow. A dog, windows, very interesting. Add color and people, Wi Fi, yes. So, I would strengthen the structure, I would add more color to it, I'd, you know, probably add more plants, decorate it, add flowers, and make it more living. living. Exactly. I have someone raising their hand, you can unmute and ask me. So, you know, what we did in this is we, first of all, found out the best things from that picture, right? We found out the best out of it, and then we tried to add up what best we can do. I'm very happy that you did not ask me, you know, have a party there or bring in your car, because that was what I wanted to move away from, right? The city pollution, city life. So that's amazing. So basically, you would be doing this in your PR. You will be trying to find out the best in your club meetings and you would like to also pour in ideas to improvise it so that was a slight icebreaker to open up let's quickly go into the session's objectives entry the first thing is to identify your goal so as vpbr what are you going to do what do you mean to the club throughout this year what is the role that you are going to play to impart to change you know to enhance your executive committee in general and fulfill your responsibilities. What are the individual compartmentalized tasks that you would perform and how do you accomplish them? You're going to see that. And then what are the resources that are available to you, which will equip you with the task of performing this role? All right. Okay, so VDPR role. All right. Now, when you all have taken up this role, you know, you just got the VDPR role, and then you said yes to it, right? So I want to know what was that one thing that led you to accept the VDPR's role? What was the one thing that you wanted to give out or gain from this role? So you can use the chat. Waiting. A new challenge. Okay, I love designing. Creativity, a different aspect. Leadership, wow, it's amazing. Make the club more visible, amazing. Best way to promote the club, to engage, wow. All right, I think basically you're going to do all this in your role. You are a leader, you are a public relations manager, you are the eyes and ears of the club right okay share wonderful aspects of the club job i haven't done before yes taking up the challenge and i'm gonna tell you promise you it's gonna be very challenging now creativity is one part of the role the second part of the public relations is to make the club more visible as people have pointed out so what are the different pointers that you have to do in this role firstly publicize your club it's all publicity 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 Shout out about your club. Make it more visible to the world in general, to the Toastmasters fraternity. And how you're going to do that? Keep your club website and social media current. So as VBPR, first of all, you need to publicize your club, your design, you talk about it. There are a lot of things that you do during your club meetings and later, which we'll talk about, which will lead you to publicize your club better. And you're going to keep your club's website and all the social media accounts current and updated. Yeah, you're talking about everything out there, just shouting out to the world that what your club is all about. Then promote the club to the local community. That's one very important thing that we would have to keep in mind throughout this role that we are going to new non postmasters. That is the most you know, uh, lucrative bunch that we need to bring into the Toastmasters fraternity, right? So you need to shout out your, about your club in the local community, in the local press, in the news releases, newspapers, websites that people use, yeah? So make the club more visible there. Recognize and encourage your members. It's all membership building, right? So PR works very closely with 
VP of membership. So the role of public, public relations and membership is very much in hand, hand in hand. So how do we do that? Why are we shouting about our club? Why are we publicizing? Why are we designing such beautiful stuff out there? To lure members in, right? For membership building. So how well one part is to, you know, one part is to bring in members. The second part is to make the members recognized, encouraged, and they must feel good about it. They must feel good about being a part of your club. You know, membership retention, membership recognition is one of the very important, which I feel is more important than bringing members in when it comes to BBDRO. Then safeguard the Toastmasters brand, trademarks, and copyrights. You are the brand ambassadors, right? You are the VPPRs, you are the brand ambassadors of Toastmasters International, about your district. So you are the one who's going to uphold the brand, Toastmasters brand, the trademarks, and all the copyrights, right? So as brand ambassadors, one thing is to design the, brand, the branded stuff. Second is to portray your brand identity, the Toastmasters identity, to keep up the values of Toastmasters, right? Respect, integrity, service, excellence. And then to show, it's, it's one thing to put out stuff. The other thing is how your demeanor is. Are you positive? Are you encouraging? Yeah. And when you see new people coming in, what is it that you are going to offer? Is it professional? Is it positive? That also speaks about the Toastmasters brand. Support the club mission, yeah? Our club mission is to provide a positive and supportive atmosphere. So when you see guests or members in your club, you are also entitled and you have to shared responsibility to provide that supportive atmosphere. You're going to be there, your eyes and ears are open. You're going to watch out there and see whether the members are recognized, whether they are engaged. That also is a part of your club mission. Let me ask you here again quickly, use the chat. So how exactly do you think you're going to support the club mission? Or how is VPPR's role responsible for supporting the club mission? The club mission says providing the you know, positive and supportive atmosphere. Retain members, is it now? Okay, retain members is one part. Of course, you, you are the one who is responsible not only for bringing in new members, but also retaining members. That's one thing, yes. Keep it lively, yes. It's your responsibility to keep the club lively. It's your responsibility that if people come to your club, they must feel, wow, this is where I want to be, right? So you are going to be that part, that part which adds the thing to the club, right? Acknowledge that achievements, yes. That's one part to acknowledge every single achievement of your members. Celebrating the club, of course, that's another thing that you need to celebrate every single achievement of the club. Okay, so responsibilities. Now to do all this role, now we spoke briefly about the role, what exactly is the role of Toastmasters, the BBPR, BB of Public Relations at Toastmasters. Now, how are we going to take up that responsibility? Okay, now you are going to divide your role into different responsibilities that you perform so that you get the desired outcome. Now your responsibilities are basically divided into three, you know, the three parts. One is the club meeting, during the club meeting, outside the club meeting, and then the club executive committee. During the club meeting. Now, in club meeting goes, there are a few things where you do the responsibility. One is before the club meeting, upon arrival at club meetings, during club meetings. Okay, let me talk about it in detail. Now, before the club meeting, say you have a club meeting now. So what are, what are the things that you need to equip yourself? What are the things that you need to, you know, probably take care of before the meeting even starts? First is to verify the information on website and social media is correct. See, now in the online experience, it's more important that, you know, if, if it was a physical location and you update the website with the physical location details, then it's still fine. Now, in, in the online experience, you have to see to it that your Zoom link or whatever you are using for your club meetings is spread out everywhere. It's accurate and the members are able to log in from that, right? And, you know, what I feel, what I do for my club and what I feel is, you know, should be done is before the meeting starts, maybe 15 or 20 minutes before the meeting starts, 
put it out there again put it on your social media on your whatsapp groups put your links put your poster again so that people know okay we have meeting now you know and if they are free they're definitely going to jump in into the meeting secondly all the promotional materials now we if you go probably if you have a notepad open at the side it will be very good for you to take down these things all right so ordering promotional materials at one stop if you go to the website of toastmasters international and go for promotional products you'll see a wide range of products that you can use probably this might have been more useful in the physical setup but even virtually you can definitely order and you know splash that batch or a balloon perhaps Attending uh, the club meetings, you are now you have prepared. You put out the media link everywhere, and you know the people know your club. People know where your club location is now. You've had guests coming in. Now, what is the role that you have during the club meetings? Right. Firstly, distribute promotional materials. We just ordered promotional materials from the Toastmasters website. Right now, we have a whole range of stuff. You can give out the promotional materials to the people. Now, you can report results of your public relations efforts. You might have done some. At first, maybe you have won some awards, or maybe you have done some PR campaigns. So talk about it during the business session of your club. Let the people know you as VBPR has performed this role. All right, and then announce public relation campaigns. Announce them. You know whatever new public relation campaign you are launching. Maybe you are giving a subsidy for anyone who has brought in members, or there is a PR campaign that you are taking a booth, yeah, of your club somewhere. This might have been more useful in the in the physical meetings, but even virtually, you can do this, right? Can I let? Can I know from the members here, from the attendees, that what PR campaigns or promotions can we do during a virtual setup? Um, a lot of um, Insta promotions, sponsored ads um, to the targeted market, um, yeah, the clients and all. Thank you so much. We can actually promote a club, or probably if you have an event, if you have a milestone meeting, you can promote by you know launching promotions on your social media. You can talk to your treasurer and allocate some resources, some you know promotional uh, part, of some part of the club sponsorship into this, and then you can actually go and promote your event. Right? You can talk about it during the club meeting. Announce your and announce the public relation campaigns that you're doing, and solicit volunteers. So you cannot thank enough your members, you know, they might jump in, volunteer to be the ambassadors, to be the people taking part in the campaign, right, to be the volunteers. For example, in my, when we had to do our 10th anniversary meeting, I was at a loss. I was a new person in the club. And what would I do for a 10th anniversary? I wanted to have all the details from all those 10 years, all right? So what did I do? I asked for volunteers. And they were, there were people who were the charter members. There were people who knew the club inside out. So they come in and take up the PR campaign. I know it might be difficult for everyone to get involved in a PR setup. But if you have an individual campaign, you can definitely find volunteers, ideas among the members, right? We can discuss that during the club meetings too. Okay, so here. What would you do during the online club meeting that would help you publicize the club? I think that is one thing that I did. I will ask you another question. For example, as we spoke about the promotional materials, right? That is how we lure people into Toastmasters and we talk about Toastmasters. Now imagine you are in a club and you have a guest coming in. Say it's an online Zoom meeting, all right? And suddenly a guest pops up. So what publicity would you do to, to talk about the club? And to also meet the member, make your meeting more appealing. Share on social media, Instagram, okay, that's previous. So what I'm saying is, what is it that you would do? Yes, recognize the guest, welcome them in chat. You along with the entire XCOM can recognize the guest, right? You're coming in, hey, hello, how are you? That's the brand identity, right? You're giving out that smile, that positive atmosphere. You, I know, if a Guest comes in, you, the BB membership, are all are guns blazing at the guest, right? So you're going to go there, you're going to give you all your best smile, shake hands, talk about the club, arrange meetings with other clubs, okay? Ask to participate in table talks. Wow, that's again a good thing. You know what I do in my club is whenever I see a guest coming in, firstly, I hand out my club newsletter. 
So that the key come to know about my club. Okay, what exactly this is because it's its own setup. So you're not going to meet physically and talk so much about it, right? You don't have that break point wherein you go and you sit and have a, have a snack and talk about it. Secondly, I would say make the meeting more appealing. Have a virtual background, yeah, and come up with good ideas. Maybe discuss with your ex-com, with the members, the Toastmaster of the day, and come up with great ideas to make the meeting more interesting, right? We offer to stay after the meeting to answer all queries. Okay, that would be great too. You can ask them to stay after the meeting ends and then answer the questions. Good. Okay. I suggest uh, to, to have a little teaser of your previous uh, meetings, like a teaser where everybody would be yes. speaking like for a second, you show them and it exactly. becomes like, you know, the brand is actually not just, not just the club, but actually each and every member itself is a brand. Exactly. So, you know, the te teaser on your stories and when I have like 20 members, I will, of course, you know, ask them if they could sure. put it up on their stories. So we're all spreading right. the word through all, all our just, members. Yes. One thing, one point that uh, uh, that member has pointed out is, see, you talk to your members. It's, it's not a VPPR's responsibility alone. You talk to your members also to share it what right it's not just putting out on the social media that would help the members of the club would have this collective responsibility to share the posters to share the meeting invites to share whatever pr event you have done all the publicity material in in their personal walls please encourage them as part of your role to spread the name of your club right it will help Now, outside the club meeting, now this is where your main work starts, I feel, because, you know, BBPR is one role wherein your job, it's, it's not, with other XCOM roles, 90% of the job is done once the meeting and the pre-meeting and post-meeting events are done. But for the BBPR role, you know, it's just the beginning. We do a lot of stuff outside the club meeting, right? Firstly, publicize the Toastmasters grant. I cannot say this enough, that it's not just the media posters that you put out but also the brand your tone your voice what you convey your professional attitude yeah your positive attitude friendly attitude is what also portrays toastmasters brand so that must be the one which should be upheld and then that's definitely coming to posters your designs your videos please try to come in into the umbrella of toastmasters branding probably i can share with you a tidbit of the brand manual here so that you know we can be familiar for the new toastmasters we can definitely just have a look at the brand manual okay give me a second Okay, I guess, oh, I guess my internet doesn't work here. I hope you can see the brand manual. A thumbs up please from someone. Okay, great. So this is the brand manual. Please also see, you know, brand manual keeps updating. So within a month or two, please go ahead on the Toastmasters website and please download the newest version. All right. So you can go to brand, so you can go to resources and brand manual or leadership central and brand manual, all right? So this is how it looks like. It gives a quick review of all the core values. You as brand ambassadors need to protect the core values, brand promise, your brand personality, your voice, tone, accent. So that's the first thing as part of VPPR's role that you would be doing, right? Your voice and tone should be warm, clear, professional, friendly, respectful, so on. Now the visual guidelines. I know you'll be very much interested in this part and it's really important that we follow the visual brandings, the logos and all the design elements. Here you would find, you know, how the logo should be placed, all right? And how the word mark should be placed. Please, please keep up with plan branding rules. They're very important. And if you just keep one, probably you place the logo wrongly, you don't give us enough space around the logo and you're immediately out of the branding, right? 
Okay, there are logos, do's and don'ts. I'm just giving a quick review of the brand manual. There are gradients that can be used. The three colors which are used are blue, maroon, and gray. And there are some gradients that are allowed. You can go check them. The transparency is that allowed, 70% all. The pathways logo. What I suggest is just go to the brand manual once and make a folder in your local machine and download all the logos, the design materials, keep it handy so that you can keep you know, using it in your designs. Whatever you're using, maybe Canva, maybe PowerPoint, Illustrator. And then we have fonts, Gotham, which is a paid font. If you would not be using it, go for Montserrat, which is a you know, free one. You have Myriad Pro for the text. The images, what kind of images that you are using, okay? Probably whatever images you are using in your posters, talk about the meeting, the meeting setup, Toastmasters meeting setup, people who are engaged. Please don't talk about architecture, food, children, medicines. That is not strictly not allowed for a Toastmasters material. Images should not be infringing any copyrights. So I would suggest you to use the free images which are available. For example, you can download it from the Postmasters International website. You can use it from some free websites like pexels.com, or they are giving you the name there. Okay, so that gives a brief about it. You have email signatures, various resources that you can use. You can download it from there. Okay, then there is a trademark, trademark use request. Perhaps even after reading the brand manual, you have some issues in your design. You're not very, you're not very keen at recognizing, okay, maybe my design is not exactly infringing, or maybe it is. You're not sure, right? You're not sure. So what do you do? You go and log in a request to brands at toastmasters.org or trademarks use request and ask them, okay? You can log in a request to get it approved. If it's approved, then you can definitely go ahead and use it. You have video guidelines, wherein again, you prepare a video, you add, I'm sorry, this is struggling. Okay, sorry. Okay, you have video gu guidelines, wherein you go, put out, make a video, use the, you know, the disclaimer, and then log in a request to brand at toastmasters.org. Okay, I'm gonna give you that chart immediately. And then there are website guidelines and apparel guidelines and so on. So you can go refer to the brand manual. I'll just give you the link here. Do you have any format for the newsletter? Any basic format to be followed for the newsletter? We do have a newsletter format if you okay. download the yeah, website. Or you can definitely use your own newsletter. Yeah, you can definitely create your own, but provided it is adhering to the, you know, to the colors and logos that we mentioned, okay? So please follow the branding, the branded colors, branded transparencies and gradients, images that you use should again be brand compliant. If you use that and log the request, then definitely you get approved, yeah? So that's the link for the brand manual, which you can download immediately. Okay. So let's go back to our presentation. Okay, so that was before the club meetings and during the club meetings. Let's see. Now that we are publicizing the Ghostmasters brand and we are promoting the club, maintaining the club, social media, of course, everything in online experience, we are going to put out to the world through social media, through the websites. So keep them updated, keep them current and put out your stuff there and by and large keep someone assigned or do yourself always monitoring your social media. Join the Toastmasters moderated social networking site. You know, one thing is to put out things to the world. The second thing is to definitely go and watch what the world is doing, right? So you go and subscribe to the Toastmasters website. They have a social media account, the LinkedIn and the Instagram accounts. Go subscribe and see maybe the YouTube channels and get a lot of ideas from there. 
right? So go to the face, Facebook or WhatsApp or LinkedIn pages, yeah, and check out what's going on in the world, right? What's going on with other clubs? You get so much of idea for your club, for your PR events and material that you can use, probably the events or that you are planning for your club. You can definitely go out and check out over there. And produce and distribute a club newsletter. As I told you before, you I know it's, it's a daunting experience and a cumbersome task to create a newsletter, but with the online setup, it's definitely going to come in handy, you know. So a newsletter is something which talks about your club. Probably, I'm not asking you to release it every month if it is not possible, but definitely create a newsletter where you talk about whatever has happened in the two to three months that has come, maybe there is you know, there has been an event, maybe there has been a milestone meeting, or a special event that you have planned, or a joint meeting. Definitely talk about it in the newsletter, share the members' experiences, you know, the member the awards and recognitions that the members have brought in. Talk about it so it comes in very handy when you have a new prospect. Definitely put it out to them so that, you know, they would appreciate the club and increase the chances, chances of moving the memory, right? Promote membership programs. It's all about membership building, right? Member retention. How do we do that? I would advise you to, to give the prime focus to promote members. Maybe talk about every single achievement that you do. Yeah, they have completed a level. Keep a format ready and talk about their level achievements. Yeah, put it out to them. Maybe some members are taking up leadership roles in the district or beyond. Definitely recognize them at your club level. What I do as part of my PPPR role is when I know that some of my members of my club are going on doing some events, going to give some trainings, yeah, speeches, or something on the leadership, I'm going to put you right there. Take a snap. No need to even create anything, but talk about it in your club. Use your WhatsApp, club WhatsApp group, right? We all have club WhatsApp group. Now, it's, one, it's a part of your responsibility to keep it engaged. It shouldn't happen that, you know, it's only within 15, after some 15 days, you're using it, probably putting in the meeting poster and updates, then it's all. And it's all blank for the rest of the fortnight. No, you're going to keep it engaged. You're going to talk about members. Maybe your club is a close-knit community. Talk about the birthdays that your members have. Maybe there are upcoming birthdays or anniversaries, or you know that someone has achieved a goal in their personal life and you connect it to them, then you can just need to talk, talk about that. It will make the members very engaged, very recognized, and the chances are that they're not going to leave the club at least for the term, right? Attend club executive committee meetings. Be a part of the club executive meetings. You are the fourth ranking official in your executive committee, so you're going to be there, right? Attend Toastmasters events. Attend the global events that the Toastmasters conduct, right? So that gives you a diff different kind of awareness. You can talk and connect to different PRs all over the world and see what's going on, right? Keep a tab on the PR awards and recognitions. Now, this is also a special request from our district PR team that we talk about the PR, PR awards. See, we, as maybe we are designing a poster, maybe we are just doing a video, maybe we are really very busy. Put it out to the PR awards. It keeps you motivated, right? You know what's going on. Who's won the award? That will keep you motivated. It gives you the driving force to move forward and perform better, right? So keep a tab on that. There's also the Toastmasters photo contest. Go out, check out there, and please upload your club group pictures there. Maybe probably you can win an award there, right? I'd like to ask here to the different VBPRs, you know. What, what more can you do outside the club meeting in the online setup so that, so that you are going to be more recognized? How exactly are you going to showcase your club to the world? Newsletter done, your social media is updated. Yes, Asil, let me hear from you. We will try to keep uh, our social media updated. We add some new, yeah. like marketing, we can add the uh, music or contest or a poll. Which one do you prefer, depending on what we are deciding? Exactly. I know they are very experienced PVPRs here. I would like to know from them too. It's definitely a good point, seal that we need to definitely talk about it in the social media, try out different options there, not just posters, not just videos, a lot of stuff out there, right? 
you know, I've seen member, member recognition things in many of the clubs here in our district this year. You know, we have had, you know, we just talk about. So for me, I, I just asked one of the members to come up, talk about talk about them, what was their experience? Maybe a new member has just joined in. So what was their initial experience? How was the men men mentorship program in your club? You know, make a small video, short snippet, maybe a simple testimonial that we have given. Talk about it, yeah? You're recognizing all your all the members. Secondly, make the club media more, more flashy, right? As you said, keep out more videos. Try podcasts. That's another one good thing. Try to pitch in some keynote speakers, yeah, some really very famous personalities from out from from the district and outside. That would also give your club a real credibility, right? If probably they might talk about on their social media, okay, we are visited this club, we are visited so and so club in so and so district, and that definitely gives you more weightage and more recognition. Now this. One of the most important points, have a subcommittee, have a team, have a team, have a team. I cannot say this enough, have a team. You know, it's one thing that in the beginning of year, you're all new BPPRs, you have the enthusiasm, you have the zeal, you're going to go out there head on and take it up all the challenges that, as we said, you know, we're gonna learn, we're gonna design, we're gonna go so and so forth. But I tell you, somewhere down the line, you are going to feel burnt out. You are going to feel that this role has been daunting. This role has been really tough. You underestimated it. So what do you do then? Have a subcommittee. Have a helping hand. Have a team. It's, it's really important. I cannot say this enough. How much it, having a team helps. You know, maybe you can assign one task, maybe social media task to someone. Maybe designing tasks to someone. Of course, you are the BPPR. You are the head of the community. You are the one who is having the bird's eye view on all the things going on. But you know, BPPR is also a leadership role, right? So if you're going to be that, be that leader, definitely roll people in. I know it's a challenging task, and it's easier said than done. I have faced similar issues. Maybe you don't have members who would like to take up this role, yeah? Who would like to be a part of the PR team. First thing you can do is you can immediately rope in the immediate past PBPR, right? Perhaps they might not design or they might not give time, but definitely they can give you ideas, suggestions. They might give you some good inputs on the designs that you have created, which would definitely be very, very helpful for you, right? You can have someone who's very good in social media, who doesn't spend time much in uploading things, uploading content. You can do them in, just assign one particular task. You, if you, even if you do the maximum, uh, you know, maximum effort, but that little assigning to a team will definitely come in hand. Please have a subcommittee. You're going to definitely do it better when there are more helping hands, right? The more the merrier. Now, coordinate and distribute tasks among the PR subcommittee members. As I said, distribute the tasks among the different members that have come in. Maybe you can, whatever task is handy, you can definitely give in. Arrange your replacement or assistance. Please select some person from your committee who can replace you, yeah? When, if you, and the whole context of your, for example, if your PR is not available, is down for, with something else, some personal reasons. So what do we do? We cannot just go on to a meeting without post release, right? Yours is a very important role. Now, if you're not going to talk about your meeting, you're not going to publicize, then who's going to do that, right? So definitely have a replacement so that in case something untowards happens, then there's someone else who's going to jump in and take that role. Again, that is a part of having a PRT, right? Prepare your success in office. As with any other XCOM role, throughout the whole year, keep that in the back of your head. You need to have a successor. You need to have someone, maybe from your PR team, you need to have someone who you have equipped, who you have imparted your knowledge and who's ready to take up next year, take up from where you had left it, right? That's another part of the leadership role. Have a successor prepared. I would like to ask members here, probably new or the experienced Toastmasters and BPPRs, how is it that we are going to have a, 
have members in the subcommittee because this is something which even I as a trainer has faced problems. So let me know how is it that we are luring members to be a part of the PR subcommittee. Chat box, please. Okay, now this is a brainstorming thing, right? I think it's a problem that many of us face. So what I suggest is perhaps, okay, those who have ideas, yes, people for ideas, people who are motivated and anyone, anyone, as with any other leadership role, anyone who really, I, I, I'm not asking about someone who's good in design or any other stuff, but someone who really wants to learn, right? Who really wants to learn, it's easy. If you have time, it's easy if you have the zeal and the conviction to perform this role, right? And definitely one of them will again be the PPR for the next year, perhaps. So prepare your successor. Now, executive committee, because you're a member of the executive committee, you are the eyes and ears of the club. You are the one who's watchful out there during the club meetings, outside the club meetings, on the social media accounts, right? So you are going to report each and everything to the subcommittee. You're answerable to your president, to your VP education, to all the members of your executive committee, and you're going to talk about the PRS that you have done and what have you achieved. Or probably some awards, some recognitions. We can also propose some promotional ideas. For example, we spoke about ideas and we thought of you know allocating some money for promotional stuff, maybe social media promotions. That would be great. You know, you can put the proposal to the executive committee, maybe you have a milestone meeting coming up or some joint meetings that you want to organize to make your club more visible, right? Maybe you want to plan a joint meeting now with the online setup. We can plan joint meetings with clubs everywhere in the world, yeah? So you can go talk to them, interact with them and plan out to have a joint meeting, which would definitely again, you know, give your club more recognition. Can I think of a PR campaign idea that would work on an online meeting atmosphere? Let me have answers now. I think I have bored you a lot. Can I think of one PR campaign idea out there? I know they have had many PR campaign ideas this year. Probably you might have seen somewhere. Many PR campaign ideas. Oh God, I've really bored you to sleep. Celebrity endorsement, I'm so sorry. Um, so there's a lot, there's celebrity endorsements, there's Facebook, there's Instagram and 360 campaigns. And, and I, I feel like those go really well. I feel like Instagram yes. ones go way better than Facebook ones because I feel like they can't reach the correct audience. Um, yes. And yeah, there are plenty. Obviously, like you could have blogs written about you, about your company. Yes, definitely. And definitely. Back Exactly. You can have podcasts, you can have blogs talking about it, you can have a campaign where you're talking about every member, right? Of course, you can have that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I yeah. feel like celebrity endorsement has, yes. in, in the last two, two more years, I've realized the celebrity endorsement has. I know, you can call in some keynote speakers, some celebrities who might visit the club, maybe the international president and so on and so forth. And definitely that is going to help. You can endorse your club members. I've seen many clubs coming up. I can put a few which I remember. Maybe there was WFC Toastmasters which have a member day, right? One member is the star of the day. We had Hello Timbrel for our club. I know that Y80, the Young Adult Toastmaster, also has this, this I'm a speaker, I'm a leader, I'm a Toastmaster, right? Right? Just must have yeah. I know there's a many ideas even you're recognizing the members and outsiders who look at that thing going on in the social media, you say, oh, wow, do you not have anything, you know, you don't have to do anything great to get recognized. You are a member of club, you are recognized, yeah? You have felt, you're made to feel good about being a member of the club. You're a proud member of because you are recognized, right? So that's some PR events, that campaigns that you can do on the social media platform. Post to designing contests, wow, that's nice. We can have a post to designing contest, a quiz, of course. We can have a quiz during our club meetings. You can just, you know, always try to, in, try to keep on ideas, try to give in ideas in the club meetings, right? In the club meetings. You can say, okay, your meeting should be planned this way. For example, recently we had a family day in our club. Okay, so we, brought in different family members in our club meeting. So that gives such a publicity. I remember putting out this in the local media. I used to keep getting calls. Okay, what kind of club is this? <laughs> you know? So 
So that is something that is actually really interesting. Yes. That's a really good good point. And especially with like polls and all that you're talking about, it it it's really good. And and the fact that you're thinking completely out of the box, right. it, uh, it it's really good. Thank yes. you it's so much. Yeah. Okay, so now to fulfill these responsibilities, how are you going to do that? How, when, who, what, right? So we've got a lot of responsibilities looking very daunting, looking, oh God, this is different. Why did I take up this role? So how do you fulfill this responsibility? Okay, what are the actions that should be completed? And what are the help available to you? Again, let me tell you, before we go to the resources, first thing you do now in the initial stage, when you are also very much new into this role, Please think about planning the task, okay? You, you want to create, okay, maybe we talk about design. You want to create stuff. See, creating a brand compliant poster is also one task. One thing is you put in the theme in the poster and then go about it. But then again, you have to upload and adhere to the brand, right? So that is another part. So what you do is create maybe templates, member recognition templates, birthday templates, level completion templates, okay? Any other PR events you have, just a template, a video template, wherein you are taking member testimonials. Keep the templates handy. It's going to come really handy when you are busy and you still want to keep up the campaigns and you really want to keep up the PR stuff going on. All right. So let's see the resources that we have. Attend district sponsor club officers training program. Congratulations, the first part is done. You are here in the first training program. Read materials put out there. A lot of materials that are available to you. I plan manual is there. You can go to the club leadership handbook, which I can share with you. And you know, you have maybe probably you can take down this. You have club leadership handbook, you have club officers tools, which talk about which talk a lot of stuff about public relations. You have abridged plan manual. Probably I'm putting the links in the media. You can paste in your notepad and you can probably listen to it later on. Okay, you have this document called Let the World Know. I really love this document because you're not just talking about the postmaster branding stuff, but you're talking about public relations in general, right? How are the different ideas that you want to incorporate in shouting out about your club? And again, finally, the club leadership handbook, which the Toastmasters International recommends that every VPPR and every club executive committee office will know about it, right? Okay. So now, meet with the outgoing PPPR, meet with the current executive committee, and invite some members to be a part of your subcommittee, right? Definitely have a team, okay? Now, review and order public relations materials, solicit articles for website. I have I told you there are promotional stuff out there. You can order the materials. Plan ahead, have short-term goals, right? I told you plan ahead, plan it in the beginning. And see, when you plan for, Member recognition, when you plan for making, you know, the designs, the posters, the videos, everything in handy, and there is only a template, you just have to add in things over there, it becomes very easy. The only thing left will be just think of the theme and prepare your media poster, right? So, and you have the extra time wherein you can also design different events, you can be more creative with your meetings, proposing ideas out there, concentrate on other stuff. Now, spend time designing diversity public material, as I said, posters, videos, newsletters, gifts, and podcasts. Definitely be creative, diversify, and apply for all the district PR awards available. <laughs> okay, one thing which I would like to suggest here, and which with my experience as PBPR and CGDPR, one thing which is really come in handy is this YouTube channel, Tech for Those Monsters. It's created by none other than our District 20 member, DTM Katadan Barreto, you would find really great options about designing, about branding. You can talk about if you're using Canva, you have tutorials on how to make videos on Canva, advanced um, you know, video making and all that tools available here. Please go visit this YouTube channel. You get a lot of material and how to go, how to add variety there. Then read the club leadership handbook, which I've just provided there, follow the Toastmasters Club's website, social media. See, one thing is go in and try to follow all the District 20 club pages that you know. You know what is Instagram, what are the needs. You just go and follow, 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 follow. You get a lot of ideas. It is, And it's going to motivate you to further beautify, further be more creative in the stuff you do, right? 
Now, follow the logos and design elements. You're the brand ambassador. If you don't follow the branding, who is, right? We are the brand ambassadors of Postmasters International. I would suggest you please adhere to the branding. Please adhere to the branding. Before we even talk, okay, we have only three colors. We have only a few logos. The poster is looking very boring. The video is going to look very boring. So I would say, you know, before even going on and taking a deviation from branding, ask yourself, have you really done enough? Do you think, have you missed out that little gradient, maybe that little design, which would have added that variety to your poster? Let's brainstorm more. We are the leaders. We are the designers, right? We can do anything with whatever materials we have. Let's try that. Let the whole and adhere to the branding. Follow the District 20 Facebook and Instagram page. One thing is to shout out about your club meetings and even see your club social media. The other thing is to be, make it more visible by putting out on your District 20 Facebook and Instagram pages, all right? So whatever meetings you have, events you have, put out there. Your club is more visible to the world. Your club is more visible to other clubs and Toastmasters within the district and abroad, right? So that is a simple logo of the Facebook and Instagram pages of District 20 Toastmasters. Please join in there, become a member, and post your meeting invites there. Join the District 20 VPPR WhatsApp group. I would like to give you the link right away. And I would request all the VPPRs present here to be a member of this WhatsApp group. This is the District 20 PPRs group, all right? You have the District 20 PR manager, Aditya Malinpal, and the TPR team, which I'm a part of as brand, brand, brand consultant. We are all there. We are there to guide you. You might have any questions, any queries. You can have discussions out there. So please join that group. It is for you. You're going to be wiped. I would like to let you know and would like you to suggest now as a part of the district PR team is please suggest what are the new what are the concerns you have as we PR what is it here that you would like to know more about we are in, and the district PR team have planned out to have a series of you know workshops for you available to you so that you can further enhance your knowledge or which might help you you know enhance your creativity and give you further ideas so please let me know in the chat what are the different areas and uh, of you know learning that you want to have please write a comment in the chat yes did you Padma, let me know from you yeah can i speak it's okay yes or I have yes 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 sure, okay, sure. please you. let me know. yeah from my work with public relations in different uh, uh, places as in district and in club Yes. I noticed that most of the people, they take the wrong advice from the wrong people regarding the brand butter or the Toastmaster right. brand. That's where the group, right. Yeah. You need to know what is right. I believe that okay. the public relation in the district is available. You can ask them or you ask whoever worked in this criteria or in this field with the exactly. white work. Other than that, you will post your work, we'll talk about you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we are those and those, the branding, anything else that you would like to have workshops done on, please let us know. Now, brandandtoastmasters.org and the trademark request I have spoken about. No problem, uh, you can screenshot of the slide. We have those, different. Those oh, yeah. was Sana. Those was Sana. Yes, can I come in? Yeah, I have yes, one query please. because in the uh, this is DTM Roshan here. Yes, I saw please. first year poll, seventy six percent are new, where twenty four percent are experienced. Yes. So what I suggest, uh, many to Toastmaster will have a barrier for designing. You know, you can yes, as a district yes, part yes, of yes. PR team. Why can't you immediately set one Canva designing uh, workshop oh, for all this? Uh, Toastmasters, we people. Definitely, yeah. that's you. the reason why I have primarily suggested go for the YouTube channel tech for Toastmasters, where you have the camera designing workshops. But definitely, we are going to do a workshop on designing. That is just assured. Anything else that you would like to have workshops on, please? Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so the district PR team is also planning to have podcasts. So you, as BBPRs of your club, might have a call from one of our team members wherein we are asking the new BBPRs to come talk to us, address your grievances, your issues, and just spotlight you to the district, you know? So be ready for that call. We're gonna call you, we're gonna talk to you very soon. 
Okay, so that would end this club officers training session. Thank you so much for being such a patient audience. I know I talk so much. I know I sometimes go heavy, but thank you for putting up with me. If you have any questions, please shoot it up now. And yes, let's hear from you. There's also the feedback form available now. Okay, there's a feedback form that is just put down in the chat. Please go ahead and fill in the feedback form. Give me a feedback. Let me improvise. Hi, Toastmaster Sana. Thanks for giving a nice so uh, over, overview about the um, VPPR role. Uh, you had shared a WhatsApp group, uh, but I think it is in Arabic only. Can you please help us to register on it? Oh yeah, definitely. Is that in Arabic? Yeah, yes. Okay, let me get you. So there's an option to change it to English. Yeah, probably you can. Yeah, just... you can. Uh, you can yeah. change it. Uh, Toshmaster Sana, I want to know the workshop from the YouTube. To told there is already a workshop uploaded on the. Okay, the one which I spoke about, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For designing. Okay, tech. Okay, let me just write it there. Uh, Thank you. Thank you so much. Any other questions that you have? That's tech for those masters. Yes. Yes. Oh, and good afternoon. Please. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. This is uh, DTM Rukaya Abbas from Sinabas Toastmaster Club. Uh, the VPPR uh, rule is not uh, first time I'm taking it, uh, like years I'm taking this Great. rule. And I just want to know the WhatsApp group, which is very good initiative for that, but who exactly is going to responding to our uh, issues or questions? Because as before, I was directly connecting the Toastmaster International for branding or something VPPR if I was yes. having problems. Yes. But now I want to see who's exactly going to deal with this and it will be good because um, I don't want honestly to just put the, the problems and, and it will be discussion. Uh, as before, I can go with the Toastmaster International sending mail and send them the branding problems or something like that. But I understand. Thank you so much. WhatsApp group is going to be handled by the district PR manager and his team, all right? The district PR manager, DJ Malin Paul, and his team is going to revive and use this. This is important because, you know, we are all going to, we are all going to face issues when we have to have discussions. Maybe we are planning workshops. So there is this WhatsApp group out there. So a lot of communication goes there. Probably you can put in a design and need some, if you need some suggestions on design, on branding, you can definitely put it out there and we can, you know, start a discussion there. So this is handled by the district, just the district. Yes. Yes, did, did you just um, master see? Thank Anyone? you very much. Yes. Could you repeat the part when you mentioned the Soli site uh, volunteers? Could you explain that again? I'm sorry, I didn't get you. What, what do you want me to explain? Okay, the part where you talked about the volunteers. Yes, volunteer. See, one thing is to have a district PR, uh, sorry, one, one thing is to have a subcommittee, right? Your PR team is going to assist you throughout the time, throughout the year. But one thing is to have volunteers. Probably you have already, but as, as I gave you an example, I had an anniversary event and I wanted volunteers who would volunteer and give me information about my job because I myself am a member of the job, right? So you can have volunteers helping you for a particular event. Okay, you're planning to have a joint meeting. Maybe there is someone in your club which, you, which knows more about the other club that you want to plan about. Maybe you want to have a celebrity in your club. You're inviting a celebrity. Maybe there is some contact in your club who can you know, better uh, acquaint with that person. So they are the volunteers who are taking up that role for a brief, brief time, maybe for that particular event. So that's about volunteering. Yes, I think Toastmaster Kupeba has a question. Yes. Yes, uh, thank you. I am Toastmaster Kuteba, uh, BPPR of EU Toastmasters. I want to ask you, will you send the recorded uh, meeting video to uh, WhatsApp group? Uh, yes, um, I did not rate it, Toastmaster Kuteba. Can we make that available? Uh, yes, yes, I will. Okay, sure. We will okay. do that. Okay. okay, thank you. So much. I see even Jim Fatima has some question. Anyone else can unmute?
you have some questions, I would like to have feedbacks. Okay, and we are about time, it's 4.30. Postmaster Sana, I have a small yeah. question. Postmaster yes, Sana, I have. Yeah, uh, can you please share the uh, site details of other other sites rather than uh, Toastmasters International, where we where we can get uh, uh, free images and all, if it is possible, even yes, through yes. in the WhatsApp I, group. I will. Okay, apart from you're talking apart from the branded photos that Toastmaster International has, right? Yes, yes. Okay, one second. One one is the, you know, the brand photos, which I just sent in the link in the chat. Another site which I really like is pexels.com. Type pexels.com, it is HTTPS, but you just type pexels.com and you get you know, a plethora of photos, which I really feel are really of good quality and you can use in your designs. There are other uh, free websites, you know, you can go for, but this might really come in handy. And even the Canva, if you're using Canva, there are so many um copyright free photos right you can use them also yeah i'm actually using illustrator and photoshop too okay you can use texas.com it really works well okay and thank you yes one of the specific rules in creating a youtube channel for the club no it's not exactly um it's you know as we are maybe perhaps because we are a um, you know, non-profit organization. Maybe you cannot monetize it there, but you can definitely create your YouTube channel. There are no such guidelines there. You can definitely have a channel wherein you're publicizing your meetings. Maybe you could do that. Maybe your snippets of, of your meeting or events, you know, you can put it in the YouTube channel. Definitely. Please, can I, can I ask about, um, is there any data protection or anything like that with pictures or, or, is, or is someone being a member automatically, you know, you can take pictures and put them on social media. I'm sorry, uh, you're saying uh, being a member, uh, you- is, is Being a member make, makes it automatically, um, you know, to go on social media. You know, some people are a bit private. Yeah, you can do that. So, so you always, so, I mean, is it assumed that you, you know, you're giving your consent? I know we're on Zoom. Definitely, definitely. Please, for any posters that you're using, not, a, not the copyright protected images, even your club members, your club members or guests you have invited, please take their consent. It's very important to take the consent of the person before adding their pictures in your poster. May, being a member of, of your club does not qualify you for using their pictures. They can be private. If they are saying no, it's a no. You cannot use their pictures. Mm, yes. yes. How do you, definitely how do you going to take the consent. So how do you get consent? Do you get that consent on a yearly yeah. basis? Just yeah, simply ask. And ask. See, that, that's your integrity. You can go and ask, can I use your picture? As before the session started, I asked you that. It's going to be recorded, right? It's going to be recorded, yeah. maybe even uploaded somewhere. So please, you can even switch on your videos if you want. You don't want people to see you. It's okay. okay. Your okay. Privacy. All right, thank you. And he says pexels.com. Yes, pexels.com. You know, it's so, uh, copyright free images. It's not a design template, not a design template. It's a, you know, copyright free images. You can have many professional images which you can take from there. That's all. Wow, this is wonderful. <laughs> Please put this in the WhatsApp. <laughs> it's, it's there in the chat. Oh, I'm gonna, oh, it's oh, it's all, oh, branded photos. I hope I did photos. not miss any question out there. Th thank you so much. Thank you, you know, this is brand new. So, but thank you very, very much. It's been really helpful. Thank you so much. I'm glad it helps. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Smith. Yes. Uh, thanks so much. Hello, I'm Kanti from VPPR from uh, Palayuna Sulvinder. And uh, the, okay. what about the gradient? Shall we mix the branded color of uh, mixing the branded color? Because I just recently saw in Toastmaster homepage also they are mixing colors. And normally we are not using before about the. Uh, no, we can, we can mix, we can use gradient only from loyal. Mm -hmm. So blue, if you go to the brand manual, you will have the gradient. Only the, those gradients you are going to use. They're yeah, not... I agreed. But yeah, I agreed. But in, even in, if you clear, uh, check the Toastmasters International uh, homepage, I, I hope you saw that one also. They are yes. mixing all the three colors. Mm. Uh, Toastmasters International homepage right now uh, is having a different 
different very colorful uh, logo and very colorful images that that's only for the conference that they have right it's only for the conference the district conferences and the postmasters international conferences do not sometimes do not have to adhere to the brand, brand guidelines it's still in the brand manual right so why is it that done probably because of the sponsorship yeah these kind of events the conferences will have different sponsors so do they have their own themes which they adhere to which are customized only for that particular conference so the district conference and those masters international conference sometimes sometimes only sometimes do not adhere to the branding and they have their own color scheme for their for that particular event theme that's other in other places they definitely follow the branding so we as members of a club as vbbs are always all the time for any event adhering to the brand guidelines we cannot have it any other way okay thank you dr musana yes uh, i think there was one question of fonts yes the fonts that are used are gotham gotham is a paid font which is for the uh, which is for the you know um, for the headlines so instead of that we are using montserrat montserrat and any other variations there is montserrat light montserrat um, i think there is montserrat bold you can use extra bold and all that you can use that myriad myriad pro or source sans right source sans pro can be used for the text yeah the kind of very uh, short and you can use it for the text you can add club a lot of text in one place that's why you can use that so that's about fonts any other okay. fonts out oh, unfortunately yes can you use yeah, uh, can can we know uh, for this um, toastmaster uh, standard template uh, do we have any link where we can download uh, you know when we design so is there yes, logos and design elements uh, if you go to the brand manual you will have logos and design manuals i'm going to just put a link there now yes thank you by this link you can download the logos and the design elements anytime right this is a part of the brand manual so download the brand manual from the link i have sent you so you can do that right now i'm not be able to uh, join the whatsapp group so how can uh, later on how can i join that group can you please guide me i will put it down to okay uh, are you uh, uh, may i ask uh, are you part of kuwait or the i'm part of kuwait okay so you know there is one official group called tm post friends official mm-hmm. actually i'm a new member right now so oh, okay. i don't know so you not able to join through this whatsapp link can you please put on there my email id or okay the best thing we can do is i will put in my phone number out there you can probably connect to me on whatsapp just message 5502135 that's my number that's my number you can connect me or you can text me and i will you know i'll see what i can do i'll probably group you in in that whatsapp yes. right can you all uh, open the so videos so that we can take a photo yes. ready 1 2 3 yes one more on everyone so ready 1 2 3 <laughs> okay Okay. Okay. thank you so much and all the best vbbs for an amazing and enthralling year i hope you're going to do your job to the best of your capabilities and i'll tell you my experience as vbbr last year at the end of the year as a personal goal i have become more aware and i've tried to reduce weight look you know i have tried to uh, correct my image because that's what you know people are all does to you. you are looking at yourself from the world's eye yeah you are being more aware of yourself not so much so i know as a personal goal what you can set is you will be more aware you will be more watchful of your entire personality your tone your positivity and i'm hope, i'm i'm hoping that it's going to definitely be a life changing experience for each and every one of us 
All the best, everyone. Please reach out to me on my number if you have any queries. And log in back WhatsApp group and anything else. I'm right here. So much. Have Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You so Thank, much. You so much. Thank you so much, Dr. Master Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Master. Give it back to me. Be ruthless. I want to improvise. <laughs>